Hello everyone and welcome to solutions video for global round 17. Yes, I'm recording it while the contest is going on because I've given all hope of solving this. It's probably bad, but I wanted the count to stop during this moment. Sad. Okay, problem A. So in this problem, we have a grid of n by m and uh, there is some hidden cell. We don't know x and uh, what we are allowed is we are allowed to query some cells. Let's say I query this and this. Then the judge would give me the di Manhattan distance, which is uh, the sum of distance in X and Y. So Manhattan distance of this and this is two plus one. And for this is just plus two. So the judge would give me the Manhattan distance. And what I want to tell is for a given grid n comma m, how many minimum grids, how many minimum cells I want to query such that I can exactly pinpoint where this X is. So for a generic grid where N and M both are greater than one, uh, you have to try out multiple different ways. You know, you can try to get the position of X. So let's try one, which is at the edge. So let's move this and this. So let's try these and what I claim is using these two, I can always figure out what is the distance, sorry, what is the exact position of X. Now, uh, before trying out two, you also have to see that using, using only one for this scenario, it is impossible to get the position of X because if I just queried this one, then I would get one, two, three, four, five, right? Now it could be here or here or uh, here so this 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 would be possible positions so i need at least two now let's see if i can do it with two so i know that they are at the uh, opposite side of the boards and at the leftmost so any distance in x would be uh, towards the right only right and let's say that is x and if this much is y then i know the other half would be n minus y. So if I query both of them, I would get x plus n minus y, let's say some distance a, and I would get x plus y equals to b. As you can see, using these two equations, I can get x comma y. And if I get x comma y, I can pinpoint where this x is. Uh, sorry for the double usage of x. Okay, let's say it is capital X. So using two at these edges, I can figure out exactly where this capital X was. However, there, there are edge cases. Let's say one of the dimensions was only one, right? Then I can just uh, stay here, get ask the query, and I would know exactly where this guy is, capital X is. And there's another edge case of one by one in which X can only be here. So we need zero queries. So for n m greater than one answer is two if n or m is equals to one then answer is one okay so either n or m okay so either n or m is equals to one and if n is equals to m is equals to one then answer is zero so yeah that was the first problem second problem calendrome array so what is a calendrome array uh, we are given an array a1 a2 a3 a4 an and a calendrome array is an array where if we remove so we, we will choose some x okay and then we will we can remove any ai which is equals to x so we can remove any element which is equals to x and after doing that once, what we want is, uh, we can remove as many elements as we want, but we can choose only one X, okay? We can also remove zero elements. So what I want is after this operation, this uh, resulting array, let's call it B. Let's say its size is M now, is, it, is a palindrome. So how to solve this? Well, we, are going to 
make some observations now. Uh, so let's say I have a let's say I have this uh, palindrome thing. Yeah, I have this palindrome, and now let's say this one causes it to not be a palindrome. So it is obvious. I want to remove one, and then I I would get a palindrome. So it is a calindrome. Now notice here that if I'm removing one and let's say there are more ones. Okay. So there's this one and then there's this one as well. So notice here that I need to remove this and this if I'm removing one. Okay. Under the assumption that I'm removing one, which ones will I have to remove this, 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 these one cause obstruction in our final array, final palindrome, right? And then these. Uh, these I don't really care about, right? They stay or don't stay. My string would be a palindrome. So that means that if I'm removing some number x, it is always good, good enough to remove all of them. And uh, if the if removing any of that number can lead to a calindrome, a uh, sorry palindrome, then removing all of them would also lead to a palindrome. A simpler way to think about it is like this so anywhere if we put one right if they satisfy the property of palindrome adding them or removing them makes no difference to the palindrome right so that means if i'm removing one i can remove all ones the ones that satisfy palindrome property and the ones that don't satisfy so using this assumption or using this base observation what we can do well, let's have a look at our array again. So if a1 and an are not equal, then I know that, okay, let's say a1 and an are equal, right? Then there's no worries. I can just move on and never worry about a1 or an. Let's move on to a2. What if a2 and an minus one are not equal? Then that means I have to either remove a2 Right, or I have to remove an minus one because otherwise they can never be a palindrome because everything before them was a palindrome. So they stay or don't stay, we don't care. So here's the thing we want to remove either a2 or an minus one. Let's say this is x and this is y. So we either want to remove x or y. So we can once try to remove x, and we know that if we are removing x, we can just remove all occurrences. So once we will get an array in which we removed all x, okay? So here a2 was removed or any other occurrence of x and we'll get another array. Uh, o is a very bad notation. And here all the occurrences of y are removed. So a n minus one won't be here. So we just want either this or this. If either of them is a palindrome, then that means that uh, this was a calindrome that is removing either X or Y led us here. Now, why we only have to bother about X and Y? Because let's say if we ignore them and we move here, let's say this is Z and here it is W. Then if I remove them, these won't be removed, right? Since these won't be removed, our this array will never be a palindrome. So all we need to do is bother about X and Y. So here is my implementation. So I made a solve to function. What this does is it checks the first element that breaks the palindrome property from the left side. And then I create B such that I remove all remaining values. Uh, sorry, uh, REM value. I don't know what I named it. And then I just check if B is a palindrome. If it is not a palindrome, I return false. Otherwise true. So in the solve function, which runs every test case, I take the input and then, okay, is it? Okay, this much must be better. And then I first of all solve for the original array. And if this doesn't work, okay. 
so if it was not possible to remove x by x i mean this one the first bad occurrence then i'm going to try to do this from the opposite side which would be y and if neither of them give me true then i print no otherwise yes okay problem c keshi is throwing a party so in this problem keshi has n friends 1 2 3 4 up to n and the ith friend has i money so fourth friend has four money and all of them also have ego problems which are represented using these coefficients for uh b4 an bn and uh, eraser Hmm. So what that means is, if Keshi invites the ith friend to his birthday party, let's say he invites fourth friend, then that means uh, to let him come to the party. What he wants is, at maximum a four number of people should have more money than him, and at maximum b four number of people should have less money than him. That means, at maximum a four number of people can belong in this range. and uh, at maximum b4 number of people can belong in this range so if uh, a4 was 3 and b4 was 2 then at maximum two people can be here can be from 1 to 3 and at maximum uh, three people can be from 5 to end so kelly wants to invite as many people as possible while keeping their ego problems in check so what is the maximum number of people he she can invite that is what we have to find so i don't know about any greedy or dp solution but it has a very nice binary search on answer solution so let's see uh, let's say we say that kelly can invite x friends okay so not kelly can keshi okay so if keshi can invite can invite x friends then that means he can also he can also invite one friends or two friends up to x friends right so that is that means we can binary search on this thing this x what is the maximum number of friends he she can invite now how to check if he can invite x friends okay so to check that let's greedily go from here and the first friend that he's going to take okay his a value should be greater than equals to x minus 1 because other than him there must be x minus 1 people on the right side there has to be so his a should be greater than x minus 1 and b should be greater than equals to 0 then for the next friend we pick his a should be greater than equals to x minus 2 because now x minus 1 people are remaining on the right side to be taken and b should be greater than equal to 1 because we have taken one person and we keep doing this okay so then there would come where a has to be greater than equals to 0 and b has to be greater than equals to x minus 1 now this this greedy picking is optimal how uh, we can get uh, some sort of a proof by seeing that let's say let's say i pick this guy i and then j and then there is some person k which i am not able to pick and let's say in the optimal solution i pick him okay so uh okay let's say i pick the first guy his b was at least 0 i pick the second guy who's at b was at least 1 and a is just good enough so i don't care about b a right now b for the next guy let let us say it is 1 so we are not able to pick this guy however in the optimal solution we were able to pick this person but as you can see as you can see this means that at maximum on at max uh, let's say this was i this was j this was k this means that at maximum if we pick this k person there would be one person here right however if we are picking this j there would be uh, at maximum now here as well there would be one person because we have already picked one person right we we are taking the threshold for everything 
so that means this might be optimal but this is also optimal something like exchange argument so yeah we just have to greedily pick up and then binary search on the answer so i'm gonna first of all so kelly can at least invite one friend obviously right and uh, at maximum n friends so we will binary search on this one to n and uh, let's say initially i get some x if we can if we can pick x friends like this greedily then that means now our search space is x to n otherwise our search space would be 1 to x minus 1 sorry x plus 1 to m so yeah just binary search while checking like this so let's have a look at the submission uh, here how it is integer so i take in the input and answer initially 0 low is 1 high is n i get mid initially can i do it is false so ar is a required and br is b required count how many people have count gotten in for every ai bi in a if ai is greater than equals to ar and bi is greater than equals to br right so initially mid x minus 1 and 0 then i'm going to increase count i'm going to reduce x minus 1 so this has to go to x minus 2 now and b required increases right this decreases and this increases and uh, whenever i have done mid um, number of people i break out if count is greater than equal to mid uh, this is just i could have just checked mid can true now if i can the answer is at least mid and then i move the search space from mid plus one to high otherwise i was if i was not able to do i move the search space from low to mid minus one and then i just print the answer and uh, yeah that was it this much was enough to get you to get you this rank to get you 740 rank which is a pretty good performance and my rank is just deteriorating because i'm not trying anymore i have no idea how to do d okay so yeah that was it Thanks and subscribe.